How do I use name assignments in Chaseplane? In a recent build of Chaseplane, we've introduced name assignments. What those are is basically an alternate way of assigning shortcuts to your favorite presets. The way it used to be, and the way it, it, it is for some of you right now, is that you have to assign a control assignments for every preset that you have. Pilot Captain here, if I hold control on my keyboard, or if I right click and assign a button, I can put a joystick button here, my X55 button B, to it. Now if down the road I buy a new joystick or I, I change my configuration, I have to reassign all of them uh, across all my aircraft, which is not very convenient. So in this tutorial, we'll show you a new way of assigning shortcuts for those uh, beautiful presets. You might have noticed while assigning a button here, we have a new button at the bottom called Named. If we click on it, it brings us to the Preferences page in the Named Assignments section. What Named Assignments are, basically, is you search presets by name, let's say Pilot, it checks on my entire collection, it found 50 preset that contains Pilot in it. And we can simply assign a new button to it, number, number pad 5, for example. And now all my views that contain the word Pilot have the num5, numpad5 assigned to them. If I go into the presets page here, you can see my pilot view has a named assignments that you can have on, you know, you can know what it is by hovering on top of it. And we have the X55 button B that we assigned previously. Um, we also have the autopilot that has it because it contains the word pilot, and we have the pilot focus here as well. We might want to exclude the autopilot from the list. If we go into preferences, we go here, we simply add a space at the end and we shrink from 50 to 16, which is pretty good. We have one and two. If I hit num5 now, it cycles between them. You can do all sorts of crazy things here. I'll configure a few and show you the power of the, uh, the named assignments. I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. I configured a few control assignments here. And uh, you can see in the preset section, it populated very well. We have the pilots, we have the MCP that has a dedicated button now, the overhead, the FMS, we the pilot focus, we got the dashboard, spot view, wing right, wing left have dedicated buttons, and the tail as well. Now those, if you name your preset very similar, you'll find that across all your different aircraft, this naming scheme will also follow. We have here MCP overhead, and uh, we might have to rename a few of them um, if needed. So wing R will be wing right, wing left will be, oops, left, there you go. So that's on the 737, so that's why it looks weird now. But basically you get the gist of it. Uh, regardless of the aircraft, they're all assigned as per their name. Now, a crazy thing that we want to, that we can do also, we can go crazy with those things. Let's say the wing right. I also want to have the wing view in it. The wing view might be some other random view. If I go here into preferences, and I know this is not for everyone, this is quite fancy. We can use regular expressions to match those names together. So, to use regular expressions, you had a slash at the start and the bottom. And then we can do some crazy things with parentheses, vertical bar, and wing view. That's just one example of, uh, of how it can be done. Now we have 27 presets that are named either wing view or wing right. If we go here into presets, we see that wing view now is also under the same category as wing right. It's quite crazy. Wing left is left alone. Um, so it's, it can be very, very powerful. There is a link here to build your own regex uh, string to do all sorts of crazy things you might want to do with, uh, with those uh, assignments as well. That's all there is to it. It's very, very simple. If you change your joystick, you only have one place to change them now. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to press the help button at the bottom left of Chase Plane and get to the forums, the Facebook group, or contact us via email. All right, have a great flight, guys.